On this video, I'm going to show you my fifth generation, some things that I have modified and let you know if I would do them again. My vehicle is a 2017 TRD Pro. And one of the very first things I wish I had done years ago, because it was not that expensive, is adding the LED lights to the inside. They're white. It made the inside of my car, when the lights would come on, look like brand new. I loved it. It was super easy to change them out, and it wasn't that expensive. Now, anything that I can leave a link to, I will link in the description box below. So if you're interested in adding them to your 4Runner, you can. The next inexpensive mod was the climate control knobs. Now, I ended up getting the black with the red, but you can get red with black. They have a ton of different options that you can do, and they were super easy to replace. They weren't that expensive. I really like how it looks. The next thing that I did you know, on our forerunners, we have two cubbies up underneath the air conditioner that, well, if you tried to put anything in it, they would fly out or fall all over the place. Well, on Etsy, you can go on there, tons of different options, and you can, re you can buy drawers for those little cubbies. I'm telling you, I love mine. I ended up doing the TRD Pro, and it's a corn drawer up on the top one and then the bottom one I had the guy make me he didn't show that this was an option was available but I just messaged him and asked him he did a camo with the red and I love how this turned out now those weird spots are actually useful another mod that I really like if you own a forerunner you understand that sometimes you'll take your cup out of the cup holder and you'll bring the cup holder with you you know I've seen this happen multiple times. On Etsy, there's a company that actually makes inserts for the cup holders. They also come in so many colors. I got the red with mountains. Another modification that I did is I added a steering wheel cover because my steering wheel was starting to peel a little bit and I just wanted to cover it up. Now, it was super thick and when I first put it on there, it kind of felt weird because it was so much thicker, but now I'm used to it and I like how it looks. It keeps my steering wheel from peeling any more than it is already. And I did try a couple of different ones and the other ones would not go on the steering wheel, but this one actually worked and it wasn't as hard to get on as I thought it was gonna be. Now, JDM Car reached out to me about the side pockets. It's a side pocket storage area because if you know the side pockets on the side like you really couldn't put anything more than a pin in it it would fall out this this video is not sponsored by them but i wish i had bought those or gotten them before they reached out to me to sponsor a video and i'll leave that video up here it goes into how installing them and everything i love these doors now the only thing that you need to know about them is don't let your mama use them as a handle they don't work as a handle, but they work great to hold your phone. I have always wanted floor mats, but I didn't want to spend a ton for them. I found, I think it's Yadama Motors. I ordered some off of Amazon, and I was really worried that they weren't gonna fit, but they fit just like they were factory made. I don't have them, they don't pull up, and they have held up great. So if you're looking for some rubber floor mats, I would suggest these. They have been awesome because I had fabric ones before and well, I take mine out in the woods and I get mud in mine all the time. These, you can just clean them up and then put them back in the car. My husband has expensive ones in his truck and I think these are just as good. Another super cheap, inexpensive mod that I did was they have these little strips that go on your air vents and you just cut them to size super cheap i think they add a stylish look to them because you know i'm trying to do that whole red and black thing 
Another thing that I ordered off of Etsy was my window decals that goes on the back of the windows. These were pretty easy to install as long as you use the wet method. Don't try to do it dry. I love these and I get compliments all the time on my window decals. I love how they look. They weren't that expensive. An organization thing that I added was in the console. It's a little tray that goes up above the rest. Now, I, I think it came with like dividers on the bottom. They work okay, but I love having that drawer up at the top because you can access things really quickly and easily so you're not digging down inside the armrest. The two big expensive mod is my Kenwood radio and I've done a review on that one and I will leave a link to that video up here and goes into more detail about that but the other radio that was in here it and my phone were not friends but this new one my phone loves it and the other really expensive mod that I done was I added the roof rack and the ladder but the roof rack I love the ladder I love but I don't love. It's rusting, which I don't think that it should. And two, it makes the back tailgate, it won't stay up and it's harder to get it up. You can replace the cylinders, but everybody's been out of them. I hope you found this video useful. Till next time, like and subscribe.